Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 5 of our build deploy test with Jenkins 2.0 for Java and C Sharp. And in this video, we'll be talking about building project using Maven. And before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 4 since this part is going to be a complete continuation of that part. So what are we really going to talk about building project using Maven in this video? Well, in our last video so far, we did some of the configuration or kind of a bed for start using our Jenkins. But from this particular video onwards, we are really going to make use of those bed so far we have created or a setup we have created so far to start using with, with Jenkins. So for that, what I'm going to do is the first thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to do a compilation of our project that we have already and start using it. So for that, I'm going to first flip to our Windows 10 virtual machine and show you quickly what I'm really going to talk about in this particular video. Well, until last video, we used the chocolatey to download some of the most important package, but we missed one of the most important package that I was about to show you is the Maven project or Maven tool, which we need to install as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm again going to search the Maven here using our chocolatey and you can see that we have a Maven project as well. So I'm just going to copy the Chaco install Maven and then I'm going to hit enter. So this will basically install the Maven for us in our machine. So if we have a Maven, we can actually do a compilation of our project, which is built using Maven. Well, once again, so far I'm talking about some project and project, right? But where is this project actually coming from? Well, this project is going to be coming from our GitHub of Excel Automation channel. So if you don't know the GitHub of our Excel Automation channel, well, this is it. So if you just type git execute automation, you will end up over here, this particular repo. So if you go here, there are a different repositories available. So if you go to the repositories, you can see there are different projects available. Right, Selenium so NUnit Param, Selenium Parallel Sample, Specflow Selenium Parallel, Selenium with Cucumber, Cucumber Basic, Excel Automation Reporting System, and there are many. And the one project which I'm pretty much interested in this time is going to be this one, the Selenium NUnit Params. Well, the interest for this and the interest for the another project is for two reasons. The one is to showcase you how to work with a C Sharp project, and another one is to showcase you how to work with a Java project. Well, we are going to touch both of them, but right now as a start, let's not really talk about the C-sharp project. Let's talk about a Java project. So basically I'm going to make use of this Cucumber basic project or the repo. So I'm going to take that. Basically it's built using a Maven and you can see because it's a Maven project, it, it has a Palmer XML file and this Palmer XML file basically has all the prerequisite package to be a, installed so that we can make use of it right so you can see there are so many things available within this particular uh, project right so i'm just going to make use of this palmer xml file and i am going to really clone this particular project and see how things work well to clone this as i already said we can make use of our github to just download it and we can do an operation over here so i'm just going to copy this particular thing and as I already said, we have installed the git in our previous video, right over here, the git. So let's do this. Let's go to our, maybe I'm just going to create a simple folder here and it's called as git pool. So within this git pool folder, I'm going to go to the open command prompt. And then here I'm going to just clone the particular project that we got. So I'm just going to do a git clone of the project that we got the cucumber basic and if I hit enter you can see that the cucumber basic is basically cloning in into this particular folder right so now we have a cucumber basic project over here and if I just go here you can see that we have this particular project right so we know that I guess the maven is already downloaded and it is downloaded under the c colon slash tools folder so if I go to the tools folder of our C colon over here, you can see that we have our Apache Maven, right? So this is the Apache Maven, which is very much interested in, which I am very much interested in. And now if I go to the environment variable this time, you can see that the environment variable will also be set for Maven for our execution. 
So if I go to the environment variable, you can see that M2, so there is a Maven, Apache Maven, and there is a M2 underscore home, and there is a M2 repo, right? So everything is over here, which is pretty much set automatically using Chocolatey. So Chocolatey is doing all the jobs for us for setting the environment variables as well, right? So it is adding it. Cool. So I'm just gonna close it. And now if you have a Maven set, all you have to do is just go to the particular project and then you do the GitHub, Git pull, and then go to the command prompt. And basically you can just do a Maven or MVN. Let's hit enter. Let's see if really it is rejecting the Maven. I guess it is sending. Okay, cool, everything is fine. And now if I just do MVN, and then if I just do a clean, you can see that it is going to clean the particular project. Of course, there is nothing else. So we can just do a build to perform the build operation. But I just did clean because it is going to download some of the most important required uh, plugins for us. So after downloading all the plugins required, and now if I just do a MVN of maybe compile, you can see that it is going to compile the project and it's going to create a folder for us with all the uh, compiled version of it and you, ca you can see that again it's downloading some of the required files and folders for us it's kind of plugins which is required for the apache maven since we have used gherkin it is also downloading the gherkin for us the pico containers and the cucumber java and all those uh, J unit and all those libraries which are we have used in the XML file which is available over there is being downloaded for us in the Maven repo. All right, seems like everything is downloaded and the build is also succeeded. So once the build is succeeded, you can see there is a target folder for us where you have the compiled version of all the uh, java file into a class file over here right so now the compilation is also being done so everything looks cool i mean you can do a compilation by just do a git pull uh, from here you just did a git pull to create a folder and then you just call the mvn of compile to compile the project right now everything is happening using the command line we are going to do the same exact thing using Jenkins instead of doing it in a manual way. So well, manual way works fine, which we know that we did do a, a clone and then we just did a Maven of compile to perform the compilation, cleaning and all those things, just, just pretty cool. But now if I want to make use of our Jenkins, we have to create a job. So that's what we're gonna do in our next video, guys. Let's stay tuned and we'll create a freestyle job in our next video to perform the same operation. So once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.